By default, Intel Aero is broadcasting a Wi-Fi access point. So you can connect to Aero, uh, do some local connection, but you have no internet access. And all the Mavlink messages are forwarded from the drone to Qcon Control running on a laptop or a computer. This computer being connected to the Wi-Fi access point. So it works, but Intel Aero can do a lot more than just forward messages from a serial port over the network. We've seen in the D1 module how we can have local logic and link Mavlink messages on the board itself. So let's connect this local logic with the network. Let's imagine the following scenario. An IoT Internet of Things device is detecting an event like a toxic gas in a factory. This IoT device is sending the alert to a central server, and the server is contacting the autonomous drone to send him on the site of the alert for further investigation. So we need a way for the drone to wait and receive instruction from the network server. We'll use WebSocket on MQTT in two following examples to connect Intel Aero to the simulated server. Right now, we just want to arm the motor. We don't need to fly. If we can do the full link between fly controller arming the motor and a network event, later we can fly. WebSockets are typical in web applications. If you read your email from your web browser, it's probably using a lot of it. It is also popular in Internet of Things messaging. WebSockets are used when you have a dialogue between one client on one server, for example, in your um, browser mail, uh, your browser is connected to a server. And the server, of course, can handle several clients. And WebSockets usually are used when performance or latency are not very important. But WebSocket can handle big files on small messages. It's very flexible. So let's install the Python module WebSocket server on Intel Aero because Intel Aero will listen and wait for network access. In parallel, you can download a WebSocket client in your browser to simulate a web call coming from the network. So your workstation, the browser running on your workstation, will send a message to Intel Aero. Optionally, you can replace this uh, browser-based WebSocket client with uh, a source code, and uh, you can use a WebSocket client module to write this code. Now here's what the Python source looked like. Of course, you import your module. Uh, first, look at the bottom of the source code. You are creating a WebSocket server using a specific port and listing on all IP address 0000. Then you map a new client received to a function call and a message received to another function call. And you launch the server. Now let's look at the new client. Uh, we are just receiving a client and printing a, a message. And what is interesting is that when you receive a message after a client connection is established, that's when we try to arm the motors. So first thing the source code will do is launch a connection with the flight controller. Then it will launch a WebSocket server and wait for connections. And when the connection is established, it will wait for messages. On the WebSocket client side in your browser, you can use the WebSocket with the IP address of your Aero drone. So in my case, it's 105, but it may be different for your um, network. And when you establish a connection, you can send a message, any message will do. For example, alert send drone. As an option, you can also replace the browser-based WebSocket client with this piece of code, doing exactly the same thing. Here's what it looks like uh, on a terminal. So first I install WebSocket server on Aero. I also install WebSocket client to show you how the client code uh, would look like. Now let's launch the WebSocket server. Okay, it is connecting to the flight controller and listening uh, for WebSocket request. 
Now I move to the WebSocket client in the browser. I connected the WebSocket and I send a message. When the message is received, it is arming the motors and disarming five seconds later. I can also launch a WebSocket client from command line, from a source code, and it will achieve exactly the same result. Now let's try to do the same thing with uh, MQTT. MQTT is a messaging protocol very popular in Internet of Things messaging. A server is keeping all the messaging uh, queues and clients subscribe to specific uh, topics. MQTT is high performance, low latency, it can handle a lot of small messages efficiently and it's also acting as a buffer. So when you have intermittent connections like on drone, it's very convenient. First, we'll install the client part on Intel Aero because Intel Aero will be connected to a MQTT server. So we install PAO MQTT with a pip. In parallel, we can install a MQTT client in our browser to send a message to the server. And the server will forward this message to Intel Aero. Note that in this uh, sample code, I'm using a public MQTT server. So when you define your topic name, uh, please pick something that is unique and not too ridiculous for the other users. Thanks. And do not overuse the public server. The MQTT code is very similar to the WebSocket code. Uh, we have a different module, and if you look at the bottom lines, we are creating a client connecting to the Mosquito server, that is a public server, and uh, we are then uh, connected to the flight controller with localhost port 5760, as usual. And when we receive a message corresponding to a specific topic that is, in my case, Aeropol, so please change the topic name to include your own topic, it will arm um, the motors. From your web browser, you can um, establish a connection with the Mosquito server. So Intel Aero and your browser will be connected in parallel to the same server and subscribe to the same topic. So when the browser will send a message to the server, the server will forward that to everybody that is subscribed to this topic, including Intel Aero. That's why Intel Aero will receive the message. Here's what it looks like uh, from a terminal. So I'm installing PAO MQTT and launching the client code on Intel Aero. In parallel, I'm connecting the browser extension to the same server with the same topic and sending a message. Message will be received by the drone and will arm the motors. 